y'all. It's your girl D, and I'm back with another video. <laughs> Welcome to D's Game and Chill. Today is gonna be a little bit, a little bit special. We're gonna be doing the new Rent to Riches challenge because your girl was gifted with the rent pack. And you know, the four rent pack is one that I've been wanting to play for so long. So this is gonna be fun. Now we have your girl Cassidy here. Cassidy wants to be, you know, we're going to do, do rent to riches. So we want to start her off, you know, maybe let's change these traits here. She will eventually want to be a five-star property owner. But right now, your girl Cassidy ain't got no money. We got the money. It's a new save. So we got the money that we started with. You know, we're going to say that she had some, she had like 20 grand saved up in savings, right? But now that she's out of a job, she just rented an apartment. Right, so she wants to be right now. She got to aim to be where is it? Popularity. She wants to be, you know, she wants to be a discerning dweller. She wants to be the perfect tenant, right? The perfect tenant and neighbor. So we're gonna make her give her that aspiration, right? Of course, she is basically gregarious, so she builds relationships faster that's going to help us right there it's going to help us too because my girl's going to be doing everything she can to get some money so that she can launch her her dream of owning property and renting it out so when i say everything i mean everything your girl here is about to be dipping it and doing it she's going to be being a sugar baby right she's gonna you know she's gonna walk in and say "Ooh, read my shirt Sorry, <laughs> I didn't. I really didn't want to come. Sorry, babe, I didn't want to come. <laughs> so right now she's materialistic, of course, because she's gonna be a sugar baby, right? And you know, you know, if you have ever played with the sugar baby mod, you know that the jobs don't come. They're they're not there all the time. So when she's not being a sugar baby, she'll be basically doing anything she'll be doing odd jobs she'll be doing freelance work your girl just she's not the nine she's not made for the nine to five right she she's just she's just not about that life right she's very chill she's very relaxed you know if she so these are the outfits these are this is her everyday outfit if she has to go to a formal setting you know your girl has this little um get up here <laughs> i didn't spend a lot of time on the outfits i'll probably just put a reel in here a speed reel with the creator sim while I was doing it. Now, I, of course, on this, I, on this channel here, we won't really, really be going too deep into the creator sim because I want to focus on the let's play. But if that's something you're into, you can definitely head on over to my Twitch channel. It's D Game and Chill. And we will do builds over there. We will do creator sims, more creator sims if you want. I can also drop the sims into the gallery. So, Yep, it's very fun. We will have some fun over there too. Again, your girl's a sugar baby, so she had to be, you know, she had to be able to put herself together so that people would want to meet her to dip it and do it. <laughs> but enough talking, let's build a sim. Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer no exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough, I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear 
that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real Anxiety can foggy Yo, all this stuff It sucks when you finally feel like giving up Oh God, no luck Everything feels like you're sticky stuck I'm lost, handcuffed To the bed where I sleep, don't give a fuck Can't stop, unplug Feeling overwhelmed, I think I've had enough uh, Gotta find a way to get some energy Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me I need purpose to make it all worth it I'm still searching and I'm still learning I want a life that's filled with memories Not a life with regret in front of me I need focus to keep me from hopeless Psychosis if I keep moping I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff And yeah, so this is what we're working with. This is Cassidy. And so we're going to get right to it. We're going to head right back to home. We literally just rented an apartment. And it's $65 a month, I think. We wanted it furnished. So we're going to go inside, see what the apartment looks like. I literally just looked for the cheapest apartment. Because see, we... That was the cheapest one. And in order to get the apartment with the furnishings, it took like 7000 something dollars from us, right? And we're already down on simoleons. So, oop, look at me already be messing with the people's place. So this is our apartment, right? I think we're on the bottom floor. So this one is ours. So we may as well come inside and check it out it's not much but hey let's go and let's admire the new possessions because you know we're living here we're going to be living here the little tv from back in the day <laughs> this tv we haven't seen something like this back in the day let's check your knees your knees look good okay okay let's come on in let's admire the possessions it's 8 15 a.m in the morning in the a.m girl you already already up you're already yeah look at your possessions yeah then you own that girl you own that go sit over there all right let's come in you can check you can check stuff out Ooh, why why be i just be moving everything girl come and look here we're not buying no bed sheets no no we'll assign you the bed you're the only person living here all right while you're sitting out in there let's go ahead and get you a date you don't get to rest there's no rest for the wicked so we're going to come in here and we're going to come on the Cinda dating app Let's see if there's anything here. I have a bunch of mods put in. So, that your girl. There's basemental mods. So, you know, we'll be doing a lot of experimenting. She's going to be having a real good time. A real, real, real good time. Um, Let us see now. First of all, before you even do all of that. Let's get you some freelance work because you need to make sure that even if you don't have a sugar baby, if even if you don't have a sugar daddy or sugar mama, you can make money. So you're gonna get you're gonna be a freelancer. That's already decided. 
So, yep. Yeah. And for your freelance, what do you have access to? You know what? We're going to get you... Hmm. We're going to get you a computer. You know, a little cheap computer. And you can start working. You can start writing while I try to find you a sugar daddy. Who's this? There are many different ways to make a few simoleons. Let's learn the ropes by scoring some simoleons. You know what? Sure. Because you girl already needs money. You want me to craft an object? Hmm. I don't know when that's going to happen. But for right now, let's go in build mode. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves a laptop. Because we need to get... Mm -hmm. We need to get you working. So, let's go by room. Study. Even though we won't be studying, but you know, what's the cheapest laptop we can get? Um, what improves the writing skill? Maybe we get the one of the <laughs> we can get you an old looking typewriter. Oh, that's expensive. No girl, you're going with this one. Okay. We be broke. We be broke. Um, let's get you the black one. It will look suave. We put it right here on your on your table. You don't need to eat. That's all. Let's go back. Let's go back and get you to Yes. Come on now. We're gonna get you writing. We're gonna get you writing. Uh, sure, you can write a children's book. Why not? Build your writing skill. Um, Pat the Badger. Hmm. You know what? Let's 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 do. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do dipping it. Dipping it. Dipping it. How to not play in mud. <laughs> this is a children's book. It is. It is. It most certainly is. Kids need to dip it too. Even if it's dipping it in mud. <laughs> Normal variable is self-esteem. I assume self-esteem is important to her overall mental and physical emotional well-being. It also plays a large role in Sims' self-image. Or okay, cool. Let's figure out what's going on here. Bruise and bandage. Cassidy, we just started. What happened to you? Cassidy injured her heart. Doing what, girl? From an eye strain? What were you doing? What, you strain your eyes standing in cast? Yeah. Like, what the hell? Girl. Girl. What on earth were you doing? <sighs> Breaker. Hmm. I, 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 I can't. I can't with you. You broke your nail doing trying to do work. See what's on the calendar. Love day is coming up. Ooh, you're going to be love, all right? You go. You need to find a sugar daddy by Wednesday. That is your current task. You think this is the best job ever? Brilliant. Now, let's check out what we have in our phone because we do have some mods installed here. So, first of all, we need to meet people. Wait, wait, you wait. need to meet a sugar daddy. We can't go shopping. We ain't got no money. Entertainment. Drugs, you ain't gonna do no drugs right now. Home, dating, travel, camera, social, and business. Still, let's see what we have in the phone here. Hmm. Nope. Let's see. Let's go back here. 
We're going to go into the Simda dating app. Come on, girl. You also need to find a sugar daddy. Who's at the door? Could be a sugar mummy. Who are you? Let's go see who's out there. Let's go see. Who are you? Hello, Summer. Let's invite Summer in. Okay, you're going to have to stop writing to invite Summer in. Go invite Summer in. You never know. You're going to make her leave. Go invite her in. After you invite her in, then you can go back to writing your book. Yeah. Resume writing. You still do need to find a sim today. Let's figure out more about Miss Summer here. Figure out what she does for a living. She may be able to be your sugar, your sugar mommy. Um. Right, but you're talking to her. Um. Okay, let's hold off. I thought it would have. Okay. Okay, let's enable hookup calls. That's all we will do. Someone else can call us, you know? Let's find out more about Summer now. Let's discuss her interest. You know, let's start off light. Then we're going to find out what she does for a living. Wait, is this a welcome party? Come on in. More prospects. Come on in. If y'all brought food, it will be even better. No fruitcake? What's wrong with you? You have your arm hurts. Why? Why are you in? Why? Why are you dizzy? Do you have medicine? We're we gonna have to spend money on medicine for you for your arm. Really? Nothing to do about it. The same, isn't it? What? Okay, let's introduce yourself to this one. Ah. Okay, they're, they're afraid of you because you're sick, okay? They think you got that thing. Um, let's get us some medicine. Can we get it from the convenience yeah. store? Or Wait, wait, wait. No, I have a feeling you're going to get the wrong type of drugs. <laughs> we want meds. Don't you go get in the wrong type of drugs now. Uh, does it send you to the doctor to get meds? Seriously? You know what? Fine. You can get a norm you can get it from the convenience store. Y'all need to become friends, okay? Y'all need to find out what they do. Girl, if you're gonna keep doing that, you're gonna have to leave my house. Okay? Do you have normal medicine? No? Hmm. If you don't got normal medicine, you know what's going to have to do. Can get a spliff. You know, that, <laughs> that spliff cures a lot of things. Tobacco. Sugar. Vape. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. You, what's your problem? What's your problem? What do you do for a living, Summer? Sure, I'll help you fix your bad relationship. Oh, you have a bad relationship with a female. Promising. Maybe we need to test the waters here, Summer. Or maybe we need to test the waters here. Ooh. Ooh, girl, you dizzy. Girl, we do need to get you some meds. <laughs> okay, hold on. We need to get you to go to the doctor, girl. We can't have you passing out before you find a sugar ba sugar daddy. Come on now. Um, 
Glank Tobacore? Let's see now. Go. I want to go get you to the vet, but you are scaring. You're scaring the neighbors. Oh, she ran away. <laughs> <laughs> she ran away. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sick. I'm just not feeling well. I hurt my hand. And you know, sometimes you hurt your hand and you need you need to get you need to go to see a doctor. 150 simoleons for a doctor's visit. Come on now. Fine. What on earth is this? Did you dirty my house up and then just you left it there? Okay. You know what? Y'all y'all can just go away. Just just leave my house. You dirty my house up, you leave it there, and then you complain about it, just go away. I'm not sure if we like you or not yet. You can just leave too. Thank you. Now you want me to get immunized. I just paid you $150. Why didn't you give me the vaccine there? <sighs> Come on, Cassidy. She's still in your house. So you may as well make use of it. Come around here, come talk to her. She's still in your house. Let's talk about... Sure, let's find out if she's okay. You know, check on her mental health. In the bathroom. Let's talk about her mental health in the bathroom. Jabin. Flubba, flubba. Of course, she's fine. You know, she's saying, yeah, she's fine. What do you think? Don't yell at her. Hold on, hold on. Let's try to... She's tense? Why is she tense? Hmm. What am I doing here? She's still sick, very much so. Maybe she should go take... Let's ask her to go. We'll talk to her a different time, girl. Girl, you need to leave, okay? We need to get better so we can go in a date. Okay? Uh -huh. Ina. <laughs> you need to just go. Ah, sure, sure. Huh? Goodbye. Uh, I'm not going to pee with you here. Just leave. Bye. I told you goodbye. Uh -huh. What are you still doing here? <sighs> oh, there's a guy outside. Kodo on my okay. I'm not feeling well, but you know, I'll I'll talk to you. More babies come. Why y'all just visiting me? <laughs> Can we start off friendly? But one of y'all better become my sugar mommy or sugar papi. Okay. Let's invite them in so we can go cook. Okay. Let's continue this conversation inside. You can talk about your interests. I'm not even learning about your interests. I've been asking you stuff I haven't. Hold on. We don't have a stove. <laughs> I'm just realizing this. We don't have a stove. We're paying $65 every seven days without a stove. Okay, all right, sir. You spoke too fast. I have no idea what you just said. The only thing I understand was refrigerator oh cool. Refrigerator coolant? You don't speak Simlish? What language do you speak? Okay, we're going to come in here. Yeah, she can go. That's fine. You're going to try and cook a fruit salad because we don't have a stove. Ah, <sighs> You can make family size. Salads we can we can take. You wanna come inside, sir? Are you coming in? 
Okay, you're coming in. Okay, sir. We'll also give you a gift. Friendly gift. Sure, I'll gift you my half-done book. We, we're working on you, sir. You be thinking about us? Yeah, think about us. We'll give you, we'll feed you, you know? A way to a man's stomach is... A way to a man's stomach. A way to a man's heart is to his stomach. We'll, you know, we'll feed you. We'll feed you. Oh, competition. Hey, y'all coming. You come in to me at 5.30. Come on, come on in. I'll feed you too. More prospects. <laughs> come on in. We don't, we, we're not, we aren't even going to be, we're not even going to be coy about it. You know, you can come on in. Are you coming in? Are you going to come in? Okay, stay out there then. I'll talk to you in the interim. Um, let's be, let's be friendly with you. Let's talk about your interest again. Okay. Sure, Bob, Bob, Alright, and then I'll call all of y'all to meal. Call to meal. You know? Did you leave? Are you not coming in? Ooh! Are you gonna accept it? Oh, you accepted it! Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, fruit! Yeah, fruit! Yup, yup, yup! He likes it, y'all! I don't even know anything about you. <laughs> But you know, Mippin growl me. Hi. Ah, me. How about romantic selfies? Oh. No, you don't want to take a romantic no, selfie with me. You, you want to take my food, though. How about you? Tam, let's have an introduction with you. And then, do I need to reset you, sir? Why are you eating? You're eating my food. What are, what are y'all looking at on me? Ooh, ooh. Girl, what's going on with you? Okay. Bad aftertaste. You made it. Longus. Unclean hands. Girl, you made it. Where are you? Come on in here. Wash your hands. Get some water. This is not. We're not off to the greatest start. We're not, off, sir. You're smelling up my house. Can you leave? You already turned me down. Can you just just go away? Can you leave? Don't play on my computer. Let's discuss interest with you. Let's ask you to leave. Thank you. And then we're going to close this door. For... <laughs> we're kidnapping you. We're going to close this door. For everyone except... Hmm. Everyone but me. You ain't going. You ain't going nowhere. You staying with me, sir. Let's build. Let's work on our relationship with you. I don't know why you're inter. Why? Why on earth are you uncomfortable? I mean, we're friends, aren't we? We 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 can be friends. Yeah, think about me. Huh. Yeah, I bet you're laughing. I'm all clean, no need to fear catching anything. Huh. Whew. He's saying he's all clean, no need to ca to fear catching anything nasty from me. Huh. You you're thinking of getting getting us in bed, eh? Run, Tell me about your tell me tell me about your orientation, Jay. Mr. Huntington. Am I even in your I'm not even in your type. You're a hero, eh? You need to demonstrate signs of courage. <laughs> huh? Alright. So you can be courageous and become my sugar daddy. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> 
เห็นคือบุคคลปะโอเคแมปรูสกา Let's flirt with you Let's do a little flirt and see how you respond Oh, huh? He liked it. Oh, sir, you're gonna regret you did that. But you know, you can keep talking. Yep, yep. Build that relationship, sir. With a name like Huntington the Third, you know he got money. He got money with a name like Huntington. Okay. Get his number, girl. Get his number. Cause you're gonna need. You know they need to call him on that sim sim da app. You know. You get his number. Okay, then we can do a little intimacy, a little physical intimacy. How about embrace. Yeah, Ooh. kiss, kiss the number, sir. Kiss the number, Mister Huntington the Third. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm. Woo. Oh, you old. <laughs> Let's flirt a little bit. You know, you know, you, you know, you're cute or whatever. Yeah, even when you're doing the weird chicken dances. Yeah, you like to make me laugh. Ha ha. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> okay, let's do a little pickup line. You know. How far do we gotta be for him to be like? You know. Can we do like a first kiss? If we can do a first kiss, you know, then maybe. <laughs> maybe ask a risque question. I think I would have gotten the. Oh, that's wrong with us. I think I would have gotten like the sugar, the sugar daddy thing option already, but I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, which is a little weird to me. What's wrong with you? Come back, come back. It's okay. The money will fix you. We can do a for an actual first kiss. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yabba. 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 Uh huh. Ooh, he's <laughs> he got shot by our arrow. Shot by our arrow. Yep. Off a rose. I don't want you to just spend the night unless you're gonna give me become my sugar daddy. But I can't figure out how to make you my sugar daddy. I'm sucking at a sugar baby right now because I don't know how to do. <laughs> no, this is not happening. Mm. Sir, mm. how do I make you my sugar daddy? Mm. Aw, y'all so mm. cute. You be slow dancing. Mm. Uh -huh. Let's ask about your woo woo interest. Uh. Mm. Uh. Okay, okay. How do I make you my sugar daddy? Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and, and do the talk, you know, ask about him being your interest in whatever. Oh, I I know why I can't make you my sugar dad. I haven't said to you, I haven't given you the trait. Hold on. Hold on, we're going to pause y'all dancing for just a little bit. Just pause just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see if I... Okay, how do I make you a sugar daddy? That's that's my thing. Not orientation and identity. Not loans. I forgot how to do. Not sim lingo. Can I make you in the command center? Hmm.
Okay, so we got to make him, give him the sugar daddy <laughs> trait. Nice, you know. Oh my goodness, are you married? <laughs> sir, Mr. Huntington III, are you married, sir? Unfortunately, you know, I don't know if you're married, but you know, you be living with some, you be looking, living with some good looking men here. I'm going to give y'all all. All right, okay. Zoe Patel, well, she doesn't have your last name, so maybe you're not married, per se. Do you, do you have a roommate? Are you broke? Well, you know, that's okay. That's okay, because I'm about to give you the sugar daddy trade. I'm going to make you a sugar a daddy. You're non committal. <laughs> that's perfect. Bro, okay. That is perfect, because guess what, sir? You got to have the sugar daddy trait. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we can we can move. You you don't have to be active. You can have the non-committal trait. We don't want you. We just want to be your sugar your sugar baby. You know. So we'll give you that non-committal if I can find it. If I can find it back, we'll give it back to you. Non-committal. Marcia. Yeah, yeah, you can stay non-committal. We don't, we don't want you. We just want, we just want your, your, your simoleons. You're a neat person, bro, and creative. Okay, you're not gonna be a bro anymore. You're gonna be a sugar daddy too. Give you the sugar daddy trait. We have two sugar daddies in the same household. <laughs> Will? Yeah. Yeah, you, you got it going on. You gonna have the sugar mommy trait? Are you wait, are you uh are you a teen? No, you're a young adult. You can have the sugar mommy trait too. You're clumsy, you're a little what? bit clumsy. You're a goofball <laughs> and you're cheerful. You can be cheerful, you can be clumsy, and you can be clumsy all the way to giving me those simoleons. <laughs> there you go. A household of sugar oh oh, I'm forgetting about you. Hello, Mitchell. Are you a young adult too? Yep, and you qualify. You're lazy, you're outgoing, and you're bro. You can be bro. You can be lazy. You can be lazy all the way to being a sugar dad. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. Thank you. All right. All righty. Now let's see if we can make him our sugar daddy. We're off to a little slow start. But that's okay. That's okay because, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Rome was not built in a day. Let's see what we got here. Woohoo here. No, you want to woohoo without being my sugar daddy? Sugar. There we go. There we go. Uh, there we go. So we're going to ask for sugar baby date because, you know, we want to get us uh, the money. We ain't, we ain't woohooing you for free. Stop thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Stop thinking about it. You want to take us on a date? Bottom grabby? Oh, yes. Yips. <laughs> Wonderful. We're going on a little date. We're going on a date date. That's what you're wearing to your date? Well, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. You know, I think you live around here. So we're just going to go somewhere close to here. Let's go to Marin Song. Yeah, let's let's go here. Can we? Can we not go there? Oh, we can't. Um, but there's nowhere to. Okay, when well, we going into a different town, you know where they don't know us. Let's go somewhere fancy. Let us go to Del Sol Valley because you're paying. Right? You're paying so we can go to Del Sol Valley and we'll go to... Um, up and coming. Let's go to Studio PBG. You can afford it, right? Right, Daddy? Let us go. All right, all right. We're at the hottest spot in town. You cannot wear this. Pause. Change your clothes. They ain't going to let you in like that. They are not going to let you in like that. So we're going to change your outfit. You got to look. 
Yeah, you know, you're gonna put on, you're gonna put that on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, can we change your outfit too, please, sir? I don't know what you're wearing, but this is not what we're doing. No, sir. No, sir. What else do you have? Okay. You can wear this. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Oh, you don't have a spouse. Okay, so I don't know who those people were in your house. But you're a tech guru, so you know, you should have a little money. While we're here, let's go. Let's go inside. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, we're going to have to... Oh, nope. Okay, you're, going, you're a little tired. We can do this quick. Hey, let's go inside. See if they will let us in. Let's see if they will let us in. Can we come in here? Let's sit and talk. Can we sit and talk here? Are y'all coming or can you not come in? Oh, you came in. Where's the... Oh, okay. He, he's here. He's here. Okay, we're going to sit and talk. Can we get a drink while we sit here? Come back. Where are you going? We're going to find out what your favorite drink is. That's okay. You don't, you don't have to sleep right now. Order your favorite drink so we can see what your drink is. You want to get your date, so you're going to flirt with your date a little bit. Compliment your parents. That's okay. I know you're not feeling great. Okay, we want to have a great date, you know. The better the date, the more the money. So we're going to joke with our date. Joke about physics. <laughs> I don't see anything about a massage. So I don't know where you're going. Come back here. Oh, we didn't see what our favorite drink was. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh no. Did you pee on yourself? Oh no. I didn't see she wanted to pee. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll come back to you. <laughs> That's okay. You know, it's just extra motivation. Where, where, where did her date go? Did he leave? Because we peed on ourselves? Oh no, here he is! It's extra motivation, just wash your hands a bunch of times. <laughs> so we're gonna come back and pretend like nothing happened. <laughs> and we're gonna flirt. We're going to give, we're going to flirt, and then we're going to give him a massage. Can we give him a massage because people are there? We can joke with him, you know? Let's pretend like nothing happened. You know? Pretend like nothing happened. Let's just do this real quick. So you want to do funny? Let's joke about silly behavior. Ooh, this dude playing in a pee. <laughs> okay, maybe we need to go upstairs, you know, because this dude is just. Can we go upstairs? Or, you know, let's come here together. Away from the weird dude in our conversation. Bartender is just listening to our conversation. 
caress his cheek okay let's see if we can get anything from him let's ask for 7k he may say no but you know he's feeling us so let's see if we can earn some money is he saying no he gave it to us oh he gave it to us okay we made seven grand so far all right okay well, let's let's get let's see if we can get some more out of him you know because we're good sugar babies um i don't know where you give him a massage let's try affection um hug oh my main goal is to get paid 2000 not okay well i have to do another joke where is funny funny joke about physics i don't know where the massage is that's just sad so we're going here uh oh we need to do a little nap Will it be bad to knock on a date? <laughs> um, I cannot not do anything because she's that tired. Seriously? Can she at least sit? Sit together. Now see if I can see sneak in a little nap. This date is harder than I thought because she's so tired. We did make seven grand, so I mean, I'm not upset about it. We need to get one more joke in. Potty humor, tell dirty joke. We also need to give him a massage. But I don't know how to do that. We're not getting that option. But that's okay if this fails, because you know we already be getting, we already be going in. You know, let's just go for it. Oh, it's at last of playing in the background. You know, let's just go for it to see if we can actually get it. Let's see if he can give us any more simoleons. Maybe it'll be a $9,000 night. Can it? Did he give it to us? Oh, it's a nine thousand dollar night so far. Okay, let's offer a rose. Come over here, away from the person, away from the bartender. You know he doesn't need to see. The pee is gone. There's no evidence. We've already made nine grand. You can you can get a rose. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can have a deep conversation with you before we fall asleep. Deep thoughts. Deep conversation. Yep, yep. We can have another deep conversation too before we, you know, fall. Ooh, ooh. He feeling frisky. Risky kisses and all. <laughs> Sir, okay, can you give us our another two grand? Can we make this an 11k day? Okay, I have a feeling to ask again, he's gonna say no. He's tired too, but before you go, before you go, before I pass out here, before I pass out here, can I get another one? And then. If you if you give us the other one, we'll just probably end the date so we can go have a nap, you know? Oh, we we earned 11k in one day, you know. Thanks for the date. It's been wonderful. Now it's time to go home. See you later. Good chatting with you.
Let's go home. Before you pass out? Girl, let's go home before you pass out. You made 11 case simoleons on one day. You know, that's not a bad income for one day. Okay, good. You came to a fancy place. You got to go far. Please make it home safe. Don't. Let's go ahead and save this, you know. Let's save it. We made 11K in one night, and that's not bad, not bad at all. You know, let's go home, sleep. We'll find where we're going to make our dream lot because your goal is not to fix up your apartment. It's to actually start. Who's here's a celebrity girl. Can you stop to talk to the celebrity or no? No, no. Judy could be your super your 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 sugar mommy too. We gonna make Judy into a sugar mommy. <laughs> Judith's a celebrity. She got money. <laughs> Not to dress her, Judith. Let's make you a sugar mommy too. I'm too tired to talk to you now, but I'm sure I'll run into you again Hi, somewhere. Sunny. Yes. You're materialistic, so am I. You're a snob, that's okay. We can't have you being oh, mean. We need you to give Lucas. us... We need you to give us, you know, that coin. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, Judith. Can't have you being mean at all. We need that coin. We need that coin. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> She didn't make it home. Girl, you better get up. You better get up. Octavia could be a sugar mummy too. We're going to have a whole world full of sugar mummy and sugar babies. A whole world full of them. We got we got, got options, okay? We need a good amount of money to make a decent... Are you married, Octavia? Ooh, I think you're married, but guess what? We need a decent amount of, of money. Oh, wait, wait, you want to have? Oh, you're family oriented. Well, we can't have that, can we? No, no. I'm sorry. You can't, we can't have that. We need, we need you to be oriented on us, okay? Uh huh. Thank you. Now, girl, you need to get up off that damn floor. There are two celebrities over you. You need to get up off that damn floor and work. You probably need a bath, but you know you got you got to work. Get up and introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Attempt introduction. Get up. Get up. Girl, get up. You're leaving. Girl, you gonna make them leave? Come on now. You'll sleep after it's... Go, go. You're standing in the rain. You're going to get sick. That's how you attempt an introduction. Okay. They are... Okay, talk talk to Octavia. Talk to Octavia. Friendly, let's start out friendly, small talk. Sure. How about you just call her over? Um can we have can we not have you're just gonna go deep in, eh? Ask for a hug. You know, can I take your picture, girl? Can I not? Is it possible for me to take your picture? Ooh. Ooh. You still dizzy. You've been standing in the rain. Can y'all do y'all have follow me home? No. That's okay. Are you gonna even talk? Okay, attempt introduction again. Yes. Attempt introduction, girl. Become a friend quickly. You're you need to go take care of your needs. Uh -huh. Go.
go. Okay, you know what? We're, we're, we're being mean to you. But we just want to be her friend a little bit. Then you can go home. Wow. Wow. Okay, you know, it's okay. You got to go home. We got to take care of our needs. Let's ask for selfie so you have something to give people. Then you can go home. Oh. Take a cute selfie so you have something to give people. <laughs> Cheers! Sweet! All right, bye, girl. Bye. Okay, before you pass out, you need to go take a quick shower and not pass out. And do we have a shower in our apartment? I don't even know if we have a shower in our apartment. Okay, all in a good night's work, girl. You met a few celebrities. You earned 11,000 simoleons. Now you're going to take a brisk shower because you're going to pass out. Um, Girl, you don't clean up your house. It probably wasn't you. You had guests over. It's okay. You can have a quick meal. Breakfast? We stayed out all night. <laughs> okay. Um, you can probably have a quick meal. Um, I wonder what happens if we order delivery and we are... Order delivery... We made 11k. We can spend two dollars. You can order. Let's order rose chicken, and then you can go take a. You can go sleep, and hopefully they leave it outside the door. <laughs> you're uh, you're ordering it in the bathroom, <laughs> in the shower. Okay. Now, hopefully they leave it outside the door. You can go sleep until then. Congratulations, you did a good, you did good. Did a good job, good job today. All right, earbuds. I've got an earbud suite. If I fall in our hard times, I'll sell it. Wait, did we get our food? JJ, what, what do you want? We're sleeping. We are sleeping, JJ, go away. Did we get our food? Did our food not come? JJ, go away. Okay, we're not talking to you right now. We are asleep. Oh, we got a vote. We don't even know who our landlord is. That is sad. Did our food not come? Did we not get... Did we not get our food delivered? I don't think we got our food delivered. What the hey? Is it because we went to sleep? We didn't get our food. Hmm. Oh, they left it outside? Come on now. Let's put it in our inventory. Why would you just leave it on the floor? Can we not pick it up? Ah, <sighs> in the rain. We just left it on the floor in the rain. Girl, go get your food. They just left it out there. Oh no, I've gotten an illness. It seems to be a mal case, so she should get some rest, drink some orange juice or tea or other home remedies. If it gets worse, seek medicine. Oh no, we need to buy an umbrella. You keep walking in the rain. No, no, he did not show up at her house. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? JJ. JJ. What are you doing here? Did you come here to give us... Like, come on now. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> Grab some leftovers. Eat. Don't... We're not listening to JJ. We need to eat. We need to go pee. Don't pee on yourself again. <sighs> go pee. Go pee. Don't pee on yourself again, girl. Go pee. Don't pee on yourself. Go pee. You can always come back to the food. Put it down somewhere. Okay, go pee. 
and then you can resume eating. And then Mr. JJ, I don't know what you're doing here, but I'm sick. I'm going to need money for medicine. So I'll invite you in because I need money for medicine. Since you're going to be here. We got to vote on the action plans as well. Oh, then we get our bills. Oh, we did get our bills. Oh, our, our rent went down until $22.50 less per day. Is that what it's saying? Did we get a rent decrease? Okay. Things are going in our favor. All right. Okay, okay. Um... Okay, so I'm walking in the rain to come to you. So you best have something good to say to me. Oh, right. My, the door is locked for everyone but, but me. I forgot that. <laughs> Neighborhood action plans. All right, what are we going to vote for? Because we want, remember, we want to be a good neighbor, right? Free love. Who needs that? Okay, we could do free love. Clean energy production. Back in the old days. Girl, you ain't old enough to remember back in the old days. The Mark of True Artistic Community is a shared passion for the creative arts. Support this maker mindset with your vote and you'll be rewarded not only with the pride you get from creativity but also the influence from doing painting, photography, writing, fabrication, and other artistic events. Well, let's vote for this because, you know, we do like the writing. Dude, what are you doing outside? I told you to come in so that we could get money for medicine. Where are you going, girl? Where the hell are you? Oh, to the mailbox. Oh, you taking out our trash? That's a good sugar daddy. In the rain, no less. Oh, no. Girl, take your food up off the ground. And please go inside. You're already sick. Talk to him inside. We are already sick. Come on in. Oh, not me taking the, taking the mailbox. Not me stealing the mailbox. Sir, are you going to come inside or what? Are you going to stay out there? Fine. You're here. We need money for medicine, sir. We need money for medicine. We're sick. Thank you. You know what? Let's see how much I can get from you. That's probably what I'm going to do last year. Let's see how much we can get from you before you fold. You may just be our, our sole investor. You may be our sole investor into our business. Yeah, we, we, did, we did become friends. Yeah, we got 14 grand just now. We just we'll, we continue squeezing you, sir. Let's see if you can be our only investor. This may be the only episode that we have to be a sugar baby. <laughs> Mr. Huntington is going to be our sole investor in our business. Come on now. Where are you going, girl? Stay, stay, stay. <laughs> stay. Come back. Oh. You don't want to ask him no more. You're tired of me. Oh, he's coming to you. Oh, we need to assign our sinks. Shouldn't have washed the plates there. This is supposed to be a bathroom sink. Don't wash your plates there. Why are you here, sir? Why are you here? We have that type of relationship, you know, it's just for talking. I know you're here because you want a little something, something. You ain't going to get it from me. Because I'm going to take your money and I'm going to leave the neighborhood. Okay? That's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. What are your hobbies? Do you even have any hobbies? Let's talk to you a little bit. 
So you don't feel like I'm just asking you for money, but that's all I'm doing. Feel, tell him a deep secret, you know? Tell him something about, you know, I've been sick so long. Yeah, and it's just so bad. Yeah, I know. Is this... Yeah, it's it's so hard to believe, right? See, I'm really sick. But you know, I'll praise you a little bit, Daddy. You're the best sugar daddy in the world. Yes, yes, you're the best sugar daddy in the world. You look like you need a massage. Let's, yeah. Did that feel good? You know, let me rub your shoulders. Come back. Girl, do you not want to get paid? <laughs> Come back here. You know, let me rub your, I rub your shoulders, you know, and I'm not feeling the greatest, you know, why? Because, you know, I, I need, um, I need a little more money for medicine. The procedure is going to be more expensive than I thought. Thank you. It's 21. Oh, look at, or, look at our bank. Oh, Mr. Huntington. Alabar Nilkoi. Yeah, hold hands. What are y'all doing? <laughs> what are y'all doing? Hold my hand. Yes, caress him. You know, he, he decided to show up here. We didn't invite him here. He showed up here. He must be real lonely at home. Yes, give him, give him another massage. Work for that money, girl. Work for that money. Yes. Yeah. How... Ooh, uh, he's still, yeah. How much money is he get from you before you change your mind? <laughs> Embrace him. No. Hug him, girl. No. You working hard? You you aren't even you. <laughs> you aren't even gonna have to do an odd job. You just you just gonna fund our building from Mr. Huntington, our one and only investor. You know who needs another sugar baby, another sugar daddy or mummy when we got Mr. Huntington. <laughs> Yes, dance to the imaginary music, people. Dance to the imaginary music, you know? Today is the day that we get some money from Mr. Huntington. We will dance, we will sing, we will say everything on Mr. Huntington. Come, Mr. Huntington, give us another 7K. We just want to get your money and go away. Let's do all we can, cause you are the man, Mr. Huntington. <laughs> Come on. Let's see how much. We're just going to line it up back to back to back and see how much he gives us until he gets tired of us and sends us, tells us no. You know, and then maybe we have to up the ante. He may dislike us after a while, but you know. Okay, after all of that, then you can. Oh, my cue's full. Can you stop dancing with Mr. Huntington and ask him for the money? Hmm. He's so obsessed with you right now. Let's see how much you can get. How much money you got, Mr. Huntington? Yeah. <laughs> no, how much is he going to give us? <laughs> this is getting ridiculous now. He's going to, you know, we can build a good property with this. We can go find a good lot, a good 60 by 60. We ain't even gonna renew our lease. We can find a good 60 by 60 lot with this, you know? No, we ain't gonna invite him to stay tonight because knowing my luck, I'm gonna end up with it. You know, after you ask those two, we'll just send him home. Oh. And thank him for his services. Which one are you just chatting? Are you asking him for it now? Oh, Mr. Huntington. I do really do need to buy medicine. I'm putting it off, but I really should buy medicine. Send him home. 
and get yourself some medicine. And then we'll end the episode here. Household? It's not in household, is it? No. Okay, it's not in household. Do we have by... Order? Oh, we don't got no protection. But we actually want to get... I don't see medicine. I see protection, but not medicine. Oh, precious medicine, I can't. Oh, do I not have internet? <laughs> Your girl doesn't have internet. Wow. Can I get it from the phone? Oh, your girl doesn't have internet. Oh, no. Shopping. I don't want to buy gifts. I want medicine. Dang it. You know what? Can you just drink some orange juice or something? Help tonic, sure. Did we not tell him to go home? Why is he still here? We sent him home. Go home. You're not cooking in our house. Go home. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your, your generosity, okay? Thank you. Now let's lock this. <laughs> Lock this door for everybody. We ain't going outside either. We ain't, we ain't having no vampires in here, okay? Because your girl started out this episode with a measly 12K. Right? A measly 12K. We were thinking, how are we going to make enough money? We were thinking we were going to struggle. But guess what? Your girl haven't even... Well, we did meet some of our neighbors, right? But Mr. Huntington came through. We picked the right sugar daddy. Right now, we got 74 Girl, drink your health tonic. Did you drink it already? No. Oh, girl, you need more. But it's okay. Maybe sleep it off. Maybe if you sleep it off, you will get, you'll feel better. So come and get, come and clear your bladder. Whoop. Why do I keep moving things? Clear your bladder and then we'll come in here and get you some sleep. Let's go to bed. You know what? You deserve some fun. You worked hard. So I'll allow you to do some little self woohoo. Then you can go to sleep. And we'll end the episode here. Because you girl are on a roll. Editing the here. I just realized that we didn't actually do anything that was on her goals for being like the the good dweller if you're being like a renter so maybe episode two we should probably lead into that go meet our neighbors you know avoid or sugar daddy and go ahead meet our neighbors try to be the best renter we can be you know without telling them we're about to break our lease or whatever <laughs> <laughs> and just you know be the see what the apartment has to offer visit some other places find out their secrets get into the deep maybe we can even get some more money by blackmailing our neighbors who to tell who to tell so yeah i think that's what we're gonna do in in episode two right so yeah i just wanted to pop in because i just realized all we did this episode was you know well we went on a date with our sugar daddy we got a sugar daddy we peed on ourselves but <laughs> we, we, we didn't no no one saw that we're just gonna ignore that that did not happen okay did not happen but yeah but we got we made a ton of money in this episode so we don't have to worry about work we didn't even do work we are freelancer we did not work i forgot about that so <laughs> we may maybe you know to not make things look a little we, we may actually still do the freelancing because we want to get to we want to get some money some more money more money can help you know we also want to work on some of our skills that would be beneficial when we become a landlord like the handiness skill or the gardening skill so we're gonna do a little bit of exploring in, in episode two so yeah all right <laughs> back to the video so the next episode that we will have your girl has enough money we'll be moving out of this bitch and then we will be going ahead and buying
we'll be moving out and we'll be going ahead and buying our lots so that we can start our new aspiration and become a landlord with the money we earned from or sugar daddy mr huntington you know we should even name the building after him because he did a whole lot <laughs> he did a whole lot for us wait girl oh that was your woohoo Woo! you feeling good girl your fun is filled yep all right go to go to sleep now you had a good couple of days you know you did well you did well we'll allow her to sleep let's just let her sleep while we talk through this and then we'll talk we'll stop it in the morning um oh you need to go back to the doctor oh no oh no cassidy all right get some sleep right when we come back we'll start the other episode with you going to the doctor all right that's all we're gonna do so until we see you again keep playing be kind and come on back <laughs> bye bye dag dag <laughs>